cons of that MK3. The wheels are made out of this cheap plastic and they do not have this rubberized coating that the MK2 has. Your finger can easily slip. Then coaters on MK2 have rubberized coating on them. On MK3 they don't. These are a little bit harder to twist and uh, your fingers can slip. Here are the pros of the MK3. The buttons on MK3 are a lot quieter. As opposed to on MK2 you can hear the click. The keypad seems about the same on MK2 and MK3. The tint of the white plastic on MK2 is more bluish. On the MK3 it's more natural white. In daylight you can see better difference. As far as the form factor goes, they change the size of them. And also the edges. You can select different tracks with these buttons. When you start to move the fader in Bitwig, this little icon appears. And right there it catches the volume. And from then on you can control the volume just like that. The encoders control the panning of the selected track. When you open up MIDI Control Center and uh, load QLab Essential, you go to the device settings. You can see all the settings for MK2. Then if you select MK3 and go to device settings, you see all the settings for MK3. The light option, which MK2 does not have, turns on or off the backlight of the buttons, super useful. More options on the dial mode. You also have better pedal control and you can change the polarity of the pedal, which MK2 does not have. Aftertouch controls, MK2 does not have that.